Hey athletes, Coach Corey here. Let's have a real talk today. Let's talk about setbacks. Let's talk about locking in. And I say this because I'm on, I gotta be honest with you, I think it's day 11. I think it's even maybe day 14 of a migraine. It has already clinically been determined the worst migraine I've ever had. Um, the, the one I think I had worse previous than this, I was like 23. Uh, and on top of that, this has included an ER visit, overnight visit, uh, where they're not sure if it's shingles as well as the migraine or the migraine, because I have pain on this side of my face as well as the migraine. It's been going on. It's, I've missed work this week. Work is my boss, Aaron, and Fleet Feet have been absolutely wonderful, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, my wife has been phenomenal. She's, she's basically turned into a babysitter. I'm not allowed to drop between the medications and everything else. So my neurologist, uh, I, I think Monday, days are running for me uh, because it was ironically time for my 90 days uh, Botox injections for my migraines. I shed tears. I shed tears in the ER. I was crying. Uh, you all, if you've known me for a minute, if you've known me for a while, you know I've experienced setbacks. And, and that's what I want to talk about this morning because body movement is important to me. I tried some restorative yoga and I say restorative as in it was fully a mat centric practice. I got eight minutes in and had to tap out because of being in so much pain. So I have to wait. This is probably the longest I have gone without working out. I don't know how long. And for about a half a minute, it'll get me down. And then I just remember, it's a setback. 99, just because I hate to say, I sp hate to speak in absolutes, 99% of my training, I do alone. I, I might video it, I might post it on social media, but it's alone. There's no one with me at 3 a.m. Emotions go out the door, I become a machine. I get up, I, I get dressed, I either running, biking, <laughs> swimming, lifting, and I shouldn't say or, because a lot of times there's and variables in there. I get it done, and then I have a very full and blessed day. But this is a setback. So this means whenever I get a chance to be pain-free, let me start there. And I get back to working out. What I will not allow myself to do is bring my emotions in and start going, well, the last time I ran, I was doing blah, 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 blah. The last time I biked, I was able to do blah, 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 blah. I will not set myself up to give myself excuses to not continue. And that's what setbacks can do to us. They can give us an out. Because it's easier to remember than it is to keep going through hell. Uh, ironically, I had to reset my Garmin because we were having issues loading it. My wife said, I think I have to do a factory reset on yours. I got it. That's fine. I have no idea what my PRs are. If you know me, anytime I've ever known I had a PR in something, it's because my wife had to tell me after a race. I don't know. I don't go into races with that thought process. I go because I'm moving and I enjoy it. And so I told her, I said, okay, if it resets my PRs, I don't even know what they are, so I'm not gonna know. If it doesn't reset my PRs, I don't know what they are, I'm not gonna know. I don't obsess over that. And I think sometimes when, we're set, when we get a setback and we come back from something, because we're not hitting, we're not checking the boxes, proverbially speaking, we get frustrated. And it's a lot easier when you're frustrated to do nothing because we're never going to get back. Lock it in. Cut that crap out. Lock it in. Take your emotions out of it. Do what you do. If you crawl forward, the key word of that is you are still going forward. I have wonderful wall of achievements I've done. Got to be honest with you, if you walk up to me any day of the week and ask me what they are offhand, I don't know. I don't. And they're cool. They're great ornaments. They're, they're conversation pieces. They're, they're neat. But that doesn't make me, that doesn't, they don't define who I am. If I run a race and I don't get an award, nothing changed about me running that race. Nothing changed about the hard work I put into training for it. If I do, this is why every time I do get an award, I'm the most shocked person in the entire world because that was never my goal. It was never my intentions. 
setbacks. So I'm going through one now. I was coaching an athlete who successfully ran her first half marathon uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, sorry. Hi, Miranda. And last two weeks, training, we're, she's killing it. It's gonna be first half. She's also a bariatric patient. She went on a cruise, came back, got sick. Then was also starting a new job the week after that, and that was gonna be race week. So I immediately jumped in to make sure mentally she was okay. Physically, you're talking about you've done the work. Last week of training, you could literally not run. Don't do this, just, for, just listen to me. You could not run a step. You didn't lose fitness for that race, but it was her first and she was understandably nervous. So I knew in my conversations with her and my coaching to her was to get to the fact of you have put in the hard work. You have run over 350 miles. This 13.1 mile race is your victory lap. And we lose sight of that sometimes because it's easy to allow outs. Man, it's cold. Man, it's hot. Man, it's raining. Oh, the sun is beating down. It's windy. Well, okay. It's always going to be an out there. But when you take your emotions out, especially coming back from a setback, that's a conversation between you and you. And you handle you however you need to. Because at the end of the day, I'm locked in. When I get back the blessing to move again, I will do that. But I will not be going, well, last time I did bench press, it was this. Last time I did arm curl, it was this. Last mile pace, which I don't even know my mile pace is keeping real. Like, I, you know, I have wear, wears that keep track of that. And even then, I don't know. People will tell me all the time, man, I saw you ran this pace. I just ran. I ran. I left home, ran along somewhere, and came back home. However long that took me, however far that took me, cool. But I just went. Lock in. When I get that blessing to move again, I will do that. I will move. I will probably have a couple of days where I go overboard because if I can reach this point of being pain free, that's going to feel like 60 pounds have been taken off my head and shoulders. And I know me. That means I'm going to go out for a 10 mile run. That means I'm going to go out for a 20 mile bike ride. That means I'm doing some stupid shit. And I'm going to laugh about it. I'm going to have this smirk on my face because I'm moving. Failure is when you don't try. Failure is when you let the outs become your in. You on you is the only conversation. Setbacks do not define you. What you did yesterday does not define you. The only person that wants it more than me today is me tomorrow. I'm out.